guys, it's snowing. Please tell me why Alexis convinced me to go outside today. Is it to be a bomb? No. I have to walk to the beauty supply store because I don't have any more Eco Styler gel. And I need some <laughs> Eco Styler gel for the video I'm filming. Look at Alexis. Say hi, hi Alexis. Hi. These snowflakes is big. It's like washing your face. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. What you just did to the snow? Oh. Oopsies. No. No. A print in the snow. All the little shrubs are covered up. So, like I said, we are heading to. Where are we going again? I don't remember what I said. Yeah, we're going to the beauty supply store. No, I don't have gloves. I'm about to put my phone back away. Oh my god. I just need Eco Styler gel to do this tutorial. Okay, so now I'm gonna be honest. This is like two days later. I want to show you guys what I washed my hair with. So I use the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo for dry damaged hair. It's got shea butter, coconut oil, and macadamia oil in it. And then I went in and detangled my hair using the L'Oreal Hair Experts Total Repair Conditioner. I love this conditioner. Would you guys like me to do a video on my favorite conditioners? If so, I'm gonna leave a poll right here. Just click yes or no, um, just so I know whether or not you guys would just like me to just talk about my favorite conditioners. And then to deep condition my hair, I did use the Cantu Shea Butter Intensive Repair Deep Treatment Mask. It intensely conditions hair to restore and strengthen it. It boosts moisture retention for increased hair elasticity and reduced breakage. And it's made with pure shea butter for added manageability and shine. This stuff is the business. So my hair is still nice and moist. For this hairstyle, I'm going to be going in with some leave-in conditioner. I'm going to be going in with the Cantu Shea Butter leave-in repair conditioner as my styler i'm going to be going in i recently added this to my routine about four or five months ago the talia waheed curly curl cream this stuff it really defines your hair and gets rid of any frizz it gives you nice definition nice hold without any crunch and then we're also going to be going in with the Eco Styler Gel, which is the main reason why I didn't film this video earlier enough, because I wanted to get this gel. The Argan Oil Formula. This gel is alcohol free, so it's good for your hair and it says it causes no flakes. So I kind of want to see what my hair will look like with this. I also have a Denman brush. I have a detangling brush, which I did use to detangle and arrange my strands when I had washed my hair. I have a few clips here that we may go in and use. As well, my oil for today is going to be the Wild Growth Hair Oil. I just love it because it's nice and thick and it's got a lot of great oils in here. I'm so nervous. Since I've been natural, I haven't been very experimental with my hairstyles. I kind of just stick to what I know works. Uh, a puff will work for me, it looks nice, it's easy, and it's low maintenance, it's out of my way. Or a low bun will work, as I can keep it long term throughout the week. And then occasionally I wear my hair in a fro, and then I try, like, you know, then I became a little more experimental and I started doing twist outs and stuff, but I haven't gotten the, I don't think I've gotten the hang down completely. I think last week I finally figured out the right combination and that's when i realized oh my god this whole time i've been saying my hair is 4c but i don't think it it may not actually be 4c like my curl pattern so we're gonna find out in this video what my curl pattern really looks like in a wash and go so let's get started so this is what we're working with right now these are my little curlies I'm going to be pinning down my roots to kind of stretch the curls. So I'm just taking some duckbill clips. I think that's what these are called. Here, I'm just going to attach another clip, kind of more as just weight, making sure that my ends, I'm detangling them nicely with my fingers. My hair is still nice and moist, which is great. 
going first in with my wild growth hair oil I'm just going to coat my hair nicely with this product my Cantu leave-in also want to work this through my hair all the way down okay I'm gonna be going in with the Talia Waheed curl cream so once that is on there, I'm gonna go in with my gel. The generous amount of gel. Working the gel onto my hand, onto the palms of my hands, I'm gonna grab the hair, work right from the ends all the way on up. I know some people are afraid of the Demon brush, but like I said, brushing is a last resort. So my hair is obviously already nicely detangled with my hand before me going in with the brush, which is why you can see that the brush literally glides through my hair and I'm losing like no hair onto the brush. Now it's time to separate the curls. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna So I realized that if I try to just separate them like by twirling them around my fingers it doesn't work and I'm guessing that's because I don't really have curls I have like zigzags but running my running the strand in between my finger and kind of just letting it go you see a lot more definition there so that's nice so like I said before I'm going to weigh down just pin down the hair I'm gently just taking the, a piece, holding it down like so in the middle, and just clipping just for added weight. So I'm gonna do a few more sections and then I'm gonna come back. I've been working away at various sections. This is the last section. So I'm gonna go in with some oil and coat my hair nicely. Then I'm gonna go in with some uh, leave-in conditioner working that on my hands coating my hair nicely next I'm gonna go in with the Talia Waheed curl cream just putting a little bit working that into my hands as well and then coating my hair nicely and then last but not least I'm gonna go in with the Eco Styler Gel Going in with my Demon, I'm just going to just brush my hair. And then go in and separate. So one thing I noticed about my curl pattern as I was going through my head is that my curls are a lot looser and there's a lot less frizz at the back of my hair and then right at the very top of the very crown of my head and at the front i do have um, a tighter curl pattern and there's definitely more frizz in terms of the way my strands are arranged just pinning it down because i want to make sure that i'm able to stretch my curls even just in itty wee bit <laughs> and I'm not tugging on the hair section anymore I'm just holding it in whatever you know I don't want to disturb the curls just holding it and I'm just pinning so that it weighs it down okay so that is done I can see it's starting to dry like at the back look at these little curlies so yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup now and then we're gonna come back on camera and finish this up. So as you can see, my hair is very shrunken. However, it is still really cute. Um, oh, I still have a clip in here. I do think that my curls are so defined. Like they look really great. They look really great. And I'm not usually used to wearing my hair this shrunken. Um, well, damn, I have a lot of clips in my hair. Thought I was done. You can see all, all 
of this definition here. And this part is already dry here. This part is still a little wet, but all of this is dry and this is what my texture looks like. Hey guys, so I kind of just wanted to show you guys what my hair does look like on day two. It is, it's very chic. I think I prefer it this way, like the way it looks right now in terms of the shape um, versus day one. One thing I will say with a wash and go is I think because I'm not used to like stretching my hair, like the process of stretching it, um, I haven't gotten new, like I know there's different methods in terms of stretching, like banding and that sort, but I'm not yet used to that, so I haven't tried it out. I just used a pick to kind of just go in there, and you can see there's still lots of, lots of texture, it hasn't really... You know, the, my roots have loosened up a bit because I went in with um, a comb, but this is still what we are working with. I'm not used to my hair being this shrunken, but it is still cute. It's, a, it's an alright style. I think I would try it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cute. I look so chic, don't I? I look like a book author. This is the final look we're working with for today. If you guys would like to see any other hair tutorials, do let me know. I don't mind trying things out. As I said, I'm trying to experiment a little more. On that note, thank you so very much for joining me today. Do check out a few of my other videos. I will leave them right here. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you in another video. And until then, stay blessed and stay golden.